Hey everyone. Welcome to a new video from Doc365. In this video, I will show you how to edit your SharePoint pages or news posts from Teams platform. Do you know that you can edit your SharePoint news posts and SharePoint pages from your Teams platform? Yes, you can do it. Isn't that exciting? Yes, let me show you how to do that. The first step is to sign into your Teams account. I am in my Teams application right now. Before getting started, you need to do one thing. You need to connect your SharePoint page or news post into one of your channels as a tab. Uh, I will quickly show you how to do that. For that, click on Teams icon in the left side and choose the desired uh, channel. So I am choosing the channel uh, Marketing Updates. Let's uh, stay in the general tab here. Click on the plus icon over here. From there, there will be a lot of uh, icons loading. So click on SharePoint option. And here you will see all the sites uh, you have um, access to or the sites for which you are an author. So uh, I am the author of the site marketing updates here. So uh, I can choose uh, whether all the contents that are related to that particular site to add into this uh, particular tab. So I'm choosing a page right here. So I choose our marketing strategies page. So I'm clicking on it and choose save. So if you wish to add a news post as a tab, just choose the any SharePoint site option and just paste the news post link in, into this uh, field and click save. So the post will be added. Right now we are adding a, a page here. So click on save and let it save it here, yeah. So uh, the marketing strategies page is getting added to this particular tab. So as you can see, there are other tabs like posts, files, wiki, and also the marketing strategies page. So you have a, a SharePoint page uh, accessible through one of your uh, channels tab here. So um, the next thing you want to do is uh, yeah, the, this is the full page I have added. It's looking good. So the options here are almost similar uh, to the SharePoint platform itself. So uh, you need to click on the edit button over here at the top right corner and move the page into uh, the edit mode before changing any, making any changes. So I'm clicking on the edit option. So uh, the page is preparing for editing. So it is now in the edit mode. So as you can see, there are more options here now, which helps you to edit the page. So first thing I will like to do is to change the banner image at the front. So I will choose uh, stock images for now. So click on stock images uh, and the available images will be loaded here. Yes. So I am choosing a different image for now. I would like to choose, let me choose this image over here for now, click on insert. So that particular, yeah, the image is changed now. Uh, we have not yet saved the a page. So uh, you can also change the text over here. So click on the text field and type the content new content. So once you are finished making all the changes, you can click on republish to make the page, make the changes live, or you can also save the changes as draft. There's also an undo option. Then there's an option for discard the changes as well. Other options include the page details, analytics, etc. So I am just uh, republishing the page by clicking on republish. So yeah, the page is now live again and all the changes I have made is live. 
So that's how you can edit a SharePoint page uh, from your team's platform. So this option lets you make changes to your SharePoint pages and news posts without leaving the team's application. So that's very convenient. It makes it so easy to make changes to your uh, SharePoint assets and the content or announcements or uh, other posts quickly. So that's all about the video for today. Uh, we'll see, in, see you in an, another video soon. Uh, have a good day.